Hi guys, it's me, Andrea Stever, the Midnight Crafter, coming on to do a project share. Um, I've been working on some too many albums for my daughter-in-laws. Every year um, at Christmas, they get a new album from me. Um, these are not my designs, guys. Um, these came off um, of Tammy Merrill. Um, she, I'm not sure which two I used because I put these together during the summer and then just went and covered them with what paper I had in my stash. So this is um, one of them. And this is what the other one looks like. I was trying to use up my uh, Tales of You and Me, so I made a couple of albums with it. Um, I absolutely love this paper, and it's been in my hoard bowl for a little bit. And so I decided to take it out for this Christmas. Um, so on the cover here, all I did was um, I added some flowers in the corners with some pearl sprays and leaves and sugared them up with, um, I used diamond dust that was given to me from uh, Brandy Canvas Craze Creations. She gave me that. Thank you very much. It's the first time I've used it and I absolutely love it. Um, this, this lace trim here and I added the rest of the, I had some flat back Swarovski and crystals in my stash so I used those on that. Um, some flatback pearls that I had, and that is the side. I did not, um, usually I punch a hole and I add charms, but I didn't. Um, I was in a rush to get these two finished by Christmas, but that is the back, guys. Yep, but I think they come out beautiful. Um, the girls are going to love them, I'm sure. They cherish them every year. This is their highlight of their Christmas every year. So, uh, uh, in the inside here, this is what I did. I did not add pockets or anything because this is, the gussets are really not very big um, in here, and I should have made the gussets a little bit bigger. But there's plenty of room for photos, so she has a nice photo spot here, and it opens up. I don't know how well this is going to do with this camera, but it opens up. Um, I couldn't put lace here because there's a magnet, and if I did, the magnet wouldn't close. So, and then I added um, a double-sided photo mat. She can either journal or um, whatever she chooses. If she wants pockets later, she can come and we will put the pockets on. Not a big deal. All right, so this is the next page, guys. There's this one here, and you open it up, and it does that and that. And that so there's plenty of room in here for them to add their yearly photos now this here you can put a picture here and any extra pictures like while you're working on the book you can store in here because it is a pocket as well or you know special mementos from the year that and then these are just little little ones if you have like them odd shaped photos or um, you can journal either or but each of these has that and these flip separately so and then they have the backs for pictures and we have this pocket I couldn't add any pearls on this because it would interfere with the like I said the magnets because the gussets on these aren't very good aren't very big but that's the, that mat plenty of room for photos though guys then there's this one. This one is, uh, it looks like a pocket, guys, but it's not. It flips up, and I don't know how well you're going to see, but it flips down as well. And then there's um, a large space here for photos, and there's a um, another double-sided photo mat there. And she can store some mementos in there, because it is kind of like a big envelope, but um, I made it so you can add a lot of photos. Everyone has magnetic closures on them. Um, and these are just some extra flaps. For, oops, sorry. I keep banging my camera. I am so sorry, guys. Um, for those. And then we have that pocket. And another mat. In there. Okay, hold on. I'm trying. I should put my cord away from where I am here. All right, and then we have this pocket here, and that one just says flowers. 
I'm just using up all my scraps to make extra photo mats. And these were cut out, cut aparts from the uh, collection. This one says Tales of Us. This one says Simple Things. And, you know, you can put a photo on the back and journal on the front. Oh, I'm so glad I got these done, guys. Oh, my goodness, I'm telling you. Okay, so we got that one and that one on there. And it's a little belly band on this. So you can put photos or whatever. And this side's a pocket. Plenty of space for photos and another good size mat in there. Okay, and now this one, I added extra magnets for this flap. And you know what? I have a hard time. Um, I don't know. It just didn't. See, I mean, you can hear it, but it doesn't stay closed. So I added a tie closure by adding two flatback pearls and some wrinkled seam binding so we can tie the page shut because she's going to add stuff to this so it'll get bulky. So nice photo space there and some journaling spots or photos if you want. Same here. And then that just closes back up. Whoops, hold on. I closed it wrong. There we go. All right, so that is album number one. That is for one of my daughter-in-laws. And the second one is short but sweet. All right, this one, boy, I'll tell you, sometimes decorating is the hardest for me because it takes me a long time to figure out what I want. I had this metal piece that says memories, um, so I added that. I added um, corner pieces to the cut apart that I took out of the paper line. I added some per, some spray of flowers that I made cluster and I added a little pearl little pearl thing there with some leaves. Sugared all these up with the diamond dust. But I did that and that and put a piece of metal underneath this button. It's just a flat back button that I had in my stash that I wanted to use up some of the bling and I used a, a different type of um, flatback pearls um, on this one. Now this one is totally enclosed guys. I wish I could remember which tutorial I followed. I, um, I'll have to go back and look. But <clears throat> it opens up and like I said there isn't like a lot of gusset room so it's you can't really embellish a lot on these but there's plenty of photo spots on this and then this each one has a large pull-out mat double-sided and then I did this on this page I love the vintage paper with the lace and the pearls and that opens up this way and I added one of the extra cut apart postcards I had and a double-sided mat on there. Okay, now this looks like a pocket, guys, but it's not. It flips down, and this one flips up, and this says simple things up here. Beautiful spot for a photo. Well, let me put that back up there, and then another photo mat trying to be as quick as I can so um, I don't have problems uploading. Then this page here just flips up and I left this so she can write or journal on or add little pictures or whatever and a beautiful place for a photo. And this side's got a belly band guys. I really wanted to put flowers and stuff in here but as you can tell there's like not that with all the pearls they touch so. And then this one I just made a little booklet with so she can add four more photos on it and then this mat I think I made the mats all the same to be honest um, to keep it and then this side is just a photo spot and it has this over here with the flap to reveal another picture, picture, whatever. Yeah, I did. 
I made the mats all the same, guys. Now on this side, um, just some tags that she can journal on. I left them blank so that way there she have more space to write because she likes to journal about her stuff. And that's just um, two separate pockets. Um, and then I put the lace in the curls. Now this one, the reason I did the laces like this, guys, is because this side comes down and that side goes up. And there's reveals spots for photos or journaling. Yep. Yep, I did. I did match them all up. Okay. So, and then this one here has a, a beautiful pocket. And another photo mat. It's a good way to use up all your scraps. And she can add, I can, she can add more photo um, mats if she'd like. And then this one here folds up like this. And it just says simple things. And then it's got so you got four little spots there. Close that up. Got that, 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 and then the large space here. And then your big photo mat. Then on this side, it's just blank for a thing. All right, those. That is my project share, guys. Um, I will link Tammy Merrill's um, channel down below so that way there you can go over. She's got a lot of tutorials on her site. That's why um, I, I'm not sure which one I do I used. I think one of them might have been Heirloom. Um, I think the pages are from her Heirloom. Um, I'm not sure um, if that's the right one or not. But I will leave the link to her channel over there so you can take and check out her tutorial she has on her albums. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Merry Christmas. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing time with your family and friends. And um, we will see you soon. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget the thumbs up. Bye-bye.